Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mike. My name is Daniel. Welcome to the Adventures of Valera in Elder Scrolls Online, our awesome Argonian Templar who is a tank and a healer at the same time. Uh, recently, in like, like last episode, yeah, pretty much in the last episode, what end up happening is that we let me open up inventory. We unlocked second tier weapon and we decided to take up the healing staff, which is amazing and awesome. I freaking love it. So yeah, that's what's pretty much happening. Uh, let me check out some of the armor that we have here in case I can replace something with another thing. It, it, I'm trying to make sure that I'm building a decent build right now. I have, let's see, I believe only two pieces of light armor. Yeah, I have two pieces of light armor. Maybe having another third piece of light armor might be beneficial, but I don't know yet. It's still, I'm still debating that. Because technically what I could do is like, let's say, uh, I could get the Plague Mask over here, which adds 180 through maximum health, same thing as my regular helmet, and uh, well fitted, reduce the cost of sprinting by 7%, while the other one increases this item's armor value by 13, which is pretty great. The armor value for the heavy helmet is so incredible that I kind of don't want to replace it. If anything, I feel like if I should replace anything at all, it should be the gloves or the belt with cloth weapon. Most of the main pieces I want to keep as, uh... As, as plate, I guess, or heavy armor, technically. I guess it would be plate. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'm not really happy with that I have to keep shoulders as light armor, because I'd rather have it as heavy, like, let's say, main pieces. Let, let's say, like, the helmet, chest, shoulders, and legs. I wanted to keep at least those pieces as heavy. Actually, let me see if I have the heavy shoulders still with me. They should be in here somewhere, unless I... Oh, no, I do still have them. I do still have them, but the thing is, I'm keeping right now uh, the shoulders as light armor because I don't have any more like I don't have like any other light armor out there you know so I want to make sure that at least some pieces are kept as light armor shoulders are nice and all but at the same time I mean look at this it's like for maximum armor value is 462 that's pretty great at 74 maximum health increases its items value by 13 percent as well which is you know it's pretty awesome pretty immense we can't repair because because we got no repair kits we should we should probably invest into that for sure, I would love to do that. Naked Nord's pants might be something we want to put on since that is like armor. It reduces cost of sprinting, adds 183 maximum health. And I mean, that could be pretty cool, but like I said, like main pieces, I want to keep main pieces as heavy. So maybe the gloves and the feed we might want to replace with so the belt and feed and keep them light armor or something. I don't know. For now, I'm going to keep the shoulders light armor and just kind of let it be. Anyway, let's uh, talk to Olaf Stormwall. Last time we were here, last time we were actually playing. What ends up happening is um, we're in this field right here in the South Thram Plantation. And what ended up happening is that the Oregonians that were working there, not the Oregonians, Khajiit, that were slaves there, they started using some kind of black, some kind of dark wood magic and summoning these dark spirits to pretty much massacre everybody. Because one of them wanted revenge because his wife got pretty much, I guess, tortured to death. And the other one... Mm, let's see, what what are the other ones? Yeah, I think they were just trying to escape. Because, I mean, they're Khajiit, and they're not part of Odmer... Well, I just want to make sure I'm getting our uh, facts right. Ebonheart Pact, there we go. Not part of the Ebonheart Pact, so... Technically, they are seen as the enemy, and they're being enslaved. Which, I mean, I'm personally against this kind of thing, but... I'm not gonna speak for the entire faction. <laughs> Nevertheless, let's go ahead and talk to Ula Stormwall. I saw Khajiit run out the door. What's going on? That's Rashada. He is a he has a plan to slay the monster. Go to the stables and wait for him. I'm taking orders from a milk drinking pup and a cat. <laughs> this should be amusing. I'll be there. Man, this guy really knows how to insult people. He could have at least said lizard instead of saying a pup, but whatever. I guess we are pretty young. Let's go ahead and let's not talk I'll to you. Waiting. Nope, let's not talk to you. Let's go outside to the South Ram plantation and See what we can do around here. Well, first we probably find Jakur before we use the altar. I think Jakur, we had to, he'll be able to explain what the hell is going on here in detail. Let's go and fight this nightmare ravage over here. There we go. This guy is so easy to fight. Oh, block that. And pummel. Yeah. There we go. Let me see. How do I switch weapons? Switch weapons somehow. Let's see. Is it... There we go, this button, alright. It's the tilde, right next to the number one button. Which is... I usually would not be used to a button, but since I have to use it in Guild Wars 2, I'm pretty used to it. It's a convenient button for weapon switching, and I like it. It's like, ta-da, look at that. A staff. Shield and... Uh, an axe, apparently got an axe. A staff. And Jakura looks like 
he or she is dead. This Khajiit is carrying a map and a sealed message addressed to Bahara, an area north of the plantation is circled on a map. I should find that location. Let's go look for it. Let's see, it's right over there. We may be able to enlist Khajiit's help on this quest, or we might just deal with the Khajiit right here and there and, you know, not have to worry about him. But still, let's go ahead and figure out what the hell Khajiit are doing. They could be doing something worse that I might have to, you know, deal with urgently at the moment. But this is why we do these kind of things. This is why we, you know, we adventure, we quest around and check on these kind of events and these kind of quests. I'm gonna stick with the staff for now because simply the staff is pretty cool. I mean, look at that. We just shoot off. Well, it's not loading now, but we shoot off like random little beams and you know spells and stuff. That's kind of cool. It's kind of neat. Let's go and put the weapon away. And there's Bahara. Please show mercy to Bahara. She wields no weapons, nor does she harbor ill thoughts against you. I don't harbor any thought, any ill thoughts against you either. But uh, Jakar led the revolt here. Did you know him? Grew up together in Sensha. Jakur looked after Bahara. He fought the slavers to protect her. They put Bahara in the mines, and Jakur down here. Word came to Bahara that Jakur would start a riot. He did it to be with Bahara again. Although the a whole bunch of spirits are back at the plantation and things are pretty much gone to hell, that is kind of a sweet gesture. Uh, this is for you. This. No. This isn't happening. Sadly it is. I'm sorry, but the guy's dead. Uh, we're gonna get a maze from her. A rebellion maze. Deals 67 magic damage and restores 30 magic. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Oh my god. Increases armor and spell penetration by 4. Oh, yes. Hell yeah. Inventory, ah, inventory's fall. Out of all the things, of all the rotten things that could ever happen. Alright, materials. Uh, what do I not need? Rose. Get out of here, Rose. Don't care for you. I need to go sell some stuff at a merchant. Oh, damn it. I meant to actually click this and complete the quest. I am very sorry. I hope you'll be okay. I suggest you get out of here before you're captured by somebody else. I wish you good luck. I really do. It's, it's very unfortunate that the person that wanted to rescue her so they could run away together is now dead. It's really unfortunate. Let's go ahead and equip the Rebellion Mace. Nice! And look at that. It has a nice little colorful effect, which is kind of neat. Let's go ahead and head up back up the mountain and let's swap the weapons. You know what? I could probably just use this for a little bit. Just to work with the staff a little. Yeah! The staff is really cool. I really like it. I really enjoy it. Because we can stay at range and do a serious amount of damage with, like, no effort whatsoever. That's a cool... I like the, I like that about the uh, Restoration Staff, is that it, you don't actually have to, you know... Um, I don't know. It's it's like, even though it's a healing staff, even though it's staff usually designed for healing, and healing allies and everything, you can still use it offensively, which I like that. I like that the developers actually added that kind of feature to the staff. That's really cool. Ow, that kind of hurt. Let's not do that. Zap you. I zap people. Zap. 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 Also, I like that the staff doesn't actually, you know, lose its, uh, like, like, I guess in Skyrim, staffs would have, like, a little charge bar and you would have to recharge them with the, uh, soul gems, but in this game you don't have to, which is very lovely and very convenient. That is so neat. And a Dark Spirit summon a zombie, so... Dark Spirit can summon even Darker Spirit. That is... That is quite something. <laughs> that is really quite something. Let's go ahead and knock you down. And just go ahead and take you out. That, that is... I swear, this staff is like cheating. It's like, it does way too much damage for a healing staff. It's kind of ridiculous. And here's the altar where... Apparently, I'm going to be using this in order to... Uh, try to succumb the spirit. Let's use the Lunar art Altar over here. Enter the stables. Alright, well now we got this dark, I guess, anomaly in us. So now we're going to enter the stables and try to get the spirit to enter us. Because once the spirit enters us, supposedly the spirit shall die if they try to enter us now. Let's go ahead and unlock the chest real quick. Oh man, I haven't seen this chest in a long time. I mean, I've been wanting to pick some locks every now and then, but I never get to because these things are just never around. Yeah, what do we got? What an awesome movie we got. Iron Mall of Flame. 
Damn it! No inventory space, as always. Why? File hide. Uh, treasure map. I don't care about the treasure map. I'll toss it away for now. I need lockpicks. Dwarven gear, I guess I, could, I can toss it away because it's only for sale. I mean, most of the stuff I'm gonna get here, I understand a lot of it's for crafting, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell it. Because I'm not much of a crafter. I, in any MMO, I'm not much of a crafter at the beginning. But once I play the game a little bit and get and get comfortable with it, I start realizing how fun crafting is. So for now, I may not be into crafting, but later I will begin to crafting. Oh. What is... What is going on here? Let's talk to you real quick. Why should I care about his wife's death? Look at him. He's an animal. He's the enemy. My Tiro. He took my Tiro. I told you to spare him, not tie him up. Yeah, we had a we had a thing where we could either get her to tr like try to leave him alive or just kind of let him live, or we go like execute him and kill him, and we let him live because the guy lost his wife. I mean, the, the Kajito was there. Just he lost his wife because she was just that was that was the girl that was whipped to. Uh, like whooped to death, pretty much. Where's Ulav? I didn't see him when I arrived. Oh, there he is. He must have been here. Rashada was already bound. Ulav must have. Wait. Ulav? Oh no! Is Ulav bound by the shadow? Oh no. Yep. That's not Ulav. That's just Ulav being taken over by the spirit. Let's use the. Sh let's use the. Uh... There we go. Oh no. We gotta kill him now? God, no. I liked him. Damn it. Sorry, love. We're gonna have to fight. We're gonna have to fight, and I can't let you live for now. I just I just can't. If I were to let you live, that would just endanger everybody in the village. And then including and that's including me and the and the mistress. Let's go use the third. Actually, I wanna use first person perspective. I like this kind of perspective. It's kinda neat. Let's go weaken you. Undercut you. There we go. Are we good? I think. I guess so. Is there anything out here? Talk to Ruvali. Let's go talk to Ruvali real quick. I think we just recently killed... The, I think we just killed the spirit that way. Because Ulav took over the spirit and we killed... Damn it. Let's say, I can't loot anything because I'm just over encumbered. Whatever. Whatever. I'm over encumbered. Don't care anymore. <laughs> Let's deal with this real quick. My hands are betraying me. I can't believe I listened to you. Did you kill that monster? Yes, I did. Olaf is dead, but hopefully the ghost is going to be dead as well. Good. But I won't forgive that Khajiit for Tyrael's death. Even if he does forgive me for the death of his wife. Well, I suppose there's been enough killing. Good! This is what we're trying to do. We're trying to be rational and calm and not make enemies. Good job, Rivali. I'm gonna be over encumbered, aren't I? Yep, inventory is full every single damn time. Every single time this is happening. Even though it's not a helmet that I care for, I still want to complete the quest and get the experience for it, but... Alright, let's see. What are we tossing out? Tossing out seasoning. Screw that. Tossing out turquoise. Tossing out wheat. Tossing out white meat. Tossing out... Yerba mate. Uh, yeah, Yerba mate. Or Yerba mat. I don't know. Let's talk to her real quick. My hand. Take this. But accept I... the quest. And we're done! Thank you, Ravali. I'll see you later. Uh, Rashada, I wish you well. Wish you luck with all the stuff that you're doing. Where are we going now? Hmm, we've already been down here. We've been in this area. We already adventured all the way out here. I'm not sure if we can go any adventure anywhere in the mountains. Hmm. I believe we actually did pretty much everything, unless there's something here for us to do. Amber Flint Mine? No, I think we already did everything there. I think we're done. I think we can actually move on to the next area. We can actually come back to Deshaun. That's what we could do. Uh, let's go to Deshaun. No, wait, that's not the Deshaun area. There we go. Deshaun. We could probably go over here, travel to this waypoint from another waypoint. So let's get over to the waypoint. There's one this way. Horse, come over here. There we go. Let's go ahead and ride over to the uh, way shrine and see if they, we can just 
port to Deshaun instead of you know running all the way there. I wouldn't mind running, but if you already got all the like you know just the fast travel locations, we might as well use them because that only makes sense for us to. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I can never tell at what distance the horse can like fall. And oh yeah, we already did this quest. Never mind. Let's go ahead and there we go. Dismount and use the way shrine. Uh, let's see. Let's go here and let's go over there. There we go. And we're just gonna pretty much comb the entire area and quest all over the place and pretty much just grind out our levels and have fun doing so. And someday we'll definitely do a dungeon. I wish my buddy Darizus was actually playing on my faction or yeah, I wish he was playing on my faction so that we could actually, you know, play together and do dungeons together with, I don't know, viewers and subscribers, but he is on Aldmir Dominion. He's an enemy, which kind of sucks. I wish we were in the same faction though. I'm not sure if there's a faction transfer in this game, nor do I think I would want to pay for something like that, but nevertheless, we're back to Deshaun, and man, boy oh boy, the light rays look beautiful, the light effects look awesome. This game comes with a really pretty looking EMB of its own. I want to mod it, I wish I could mod this game and, you know, just add my own little effects every now and then, but apparently that's breaking the TOA or TOC, Terms of Conditions, or something like that. Terms of contact? Uh, terms of contact? I don't know. He's breaking the rules with uh, Zenimax and Bethesda, apparently. If, so we cannot install any new graphics, any new AMBs into the game, which, I mean, although it, it, it kind of sucks, it's not really that big of a deal, really. Let's see what's over here. I see the skull points all over the place. I just don't know what they're there for. I'm guessing it's to farm these guys. Whoa. This guy's got farmed a lot. Well, we discovered something, and yeah, I probably not, we don't want to stand around this area. Looks like these two guys are maybe farming them, possibly. I'm just gonna let them do the farming thing. Uh, where can we go? We could probably go ahead and go towards that direction and get that waypoint, actually. Jesus, this net is loud as hell. Okay, so where we gotta go? We can go down this road, there we go. We'll just go down this road and see where life takes us. And as we continue to ride this way, we'll just look out for any quests in the area, just in case there are any whatsoever. There's a waypoint this way. It looks like somebody, something else is happening over here. And Emperor Yule Septum. Oh, well that's not an Emperor Yule Septum. That's a, uh, that's a player. Oh, and they're actually finding somebody. You know what? We should probably go help him out. Let's go help him. Come here, come here. No, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Let's go and switch our weapons. Let's roll back. Spear the person, or spear the thing, and just AoE, there we go. I'm not sure what ended up happening here, but we got an Iron Sword of Flame. That's gonna go, wait a minute. Iron Sword of Flame, is that any better than our current mace? One-handed. Let's see, damage 382, damage 394, both level 15. One deals 90 flame damage, the other one reduces cooldown weapon enhancement by 35. Oh wait, no, that's a different weapon. Let's go ahead and swap weapons. What about this, 334, 382? Ooh. This Iron Sword of Flame might be really good, actually. Uh, one deals 67 di magic damage, the other one deals 90 flame di uh, damage, but at the same time, the mace restores 30 magicka. Now, that's pretty awesome. The fact that it restores 30 magicka, now that's pretty fantastic. I kind of like that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to stick with the mace. Stick with the mace. Uh, Where are we going? Is this thing moving? These things are actually moving. And I got insect parts. I don't care for insect parts. Wow, that is so creepy. The plants are just moving on their own. I guess that's uh, that's Elder Scrolls for you. This is technically a Morrowind, so things, I guess, planty things are going to be doing some weird shit every now and then. What's happening here? Hello. Easy, Siphonix. Easy. Nick sounds. All right. Hello, Vard. Is the real? My Nick sounds nervous. They smell the orcs in the pass. The orcs. Citizens have been disappearing from the roads near here. I came to investigate and found these intruders. Orcs. They've been a problem in the mountains before, but this band is unusually aggressive and organized. Sounds like trouble. Want me to look into it? I can't officially authorize it, but it sure would be useful to know why the orcs are here. I saw an orc studying a letter. Might be orders from somewhere. If you could get hold of a copy... I'll secure a copy of the orcs' orders, don't worry about it. 
All right, let's go fight some orcs. What are you orcs doing here in our land? Which faction are orcs part of? I don't even know. I think they're like Daggerfall coming on maybe. Hello there, Oathbound Guardian. Let's go pick a fight. Oh, these these are the orcs. Okay, gotcha. It's gonna be kind of neat fighting them. I'll block that and power strike. Go kill one, scare the other one, undercut, and power hit. Yeah. Yeah. It's not gonna do anything. That ain't gonna fly. I think we got it. All right. I think we do. We, I think we're pretty good actually. Bunch of infantry and other orcs in this place. Wow. Hello. Let's see how spells work against them. Maybe. Now nope, you know what spells actually do a lot less damage. This is going to be kind of difficult because now I'm in a pickle right now. I need to actually think about doing the most amount of damage since ever because I am not in a little, like, I'm not in a little leveling area anymore. I'm actually, like, in a place where aims are going to be a little bit higher of level compared to me. So I need to be, I need to get a little bit more serious. I need to get my serious game face on in order to survive this. It's kind of cool. I like this kind of challenge, though. These challenges are needed. Because, I mean, it's games. Games what challenges that aren't really challenging. We got Blessed Thristle. Oh, wait, no, we don't want... We don't want one more collectibles. <laughs> I don't have one more collectibles than I, that I can actually carry. Got a random spirit over there. Let's go talk to the spirit as well as get the letter. Hello. They cut off my head. Jesus, that's pretty brutal. Let's get the... Uh, our oath. Good. We're good. Now let's talk to the spirit over here. 